So this got me thinking, I was going to ask you the next question, but I'm going to, I'm going to tweak it because I was going to ask you what are some um, common mistakes that other attorneys make in your um, practice, but I don't want to use the word practice. I don't want to use the word common. What are some mistakes you've seen other that you maybe could counsel other attorneys to avoid if they're, let's assume they're new or inexperienced or maybe new to that area of the court? Are there mistakes that you see? Uh, well, sure. I mean, there are, uh, you know, even along the lines of, uh, we talked about that clients, uh, if they try to represent themselves, if they don't really know the subject matter or they don't know the procedural requirements, there are mistakes that can be made. So sometimes you'll see younger attorneys not have the experience uh, to make the right decisions and meet, meet, uh, meet all the right time frames. But um, a lot of uh, misconceptions in our business can be a misunderstanding of the law, of the ramifications of it. Uh, if you know, they misunderstand the value of their case, for example. Uh, sometimes in trying to resolve a case, I'm a lot happier, for example, to see an experienced attorney on the other side. And you wouldn't necessarily think that. You'd think, oh, great, I can beat up on you know, such and such who's pro per or something like that. But there's a, there's a value uh, if both sides really have a clear understanding of what a case is about uh, and what it's really worth, because then you can, you can get the case settled and save all the parties a lot of money as far as how to play it out. 